Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. This is the newspaper review segment. Let's start by taking a look at the Daily Trust newspaper. The major story, of course, is a comeback from Nigerians uh, when the president said we should sacrifice as um, a message um, of the Eid al Kabir. Uh, it's saying, lead by example, Nigerians are replying the president now. Hmm. You'll find that story, details of that, on page four of the Daily Trust newspaper. Below the headmaster, we have Tunubu did not replace Murtala Mohammed Way with Shoyinka. That's according to the federal government. Daura Katsina Hold Salah Daba. Uh, you'll find this um, amazing pictures and stories of how the Daba uh, happened in uh, Katsina and Daura. Uh, basically, because in a state in page three. Now, these are the stories that you find on the Daily Trust newspaper. All right, I'm looking at God, I think I saw, I heard the story on my way to work this morning. Nigerians for Vanguard newspaper. Um, the headline story we have there is Nigerians struggle as high drug prices fuel health crisis in the country. Now, um, was, I heard the story early in the morning when on my way to work. And then another story that is also there on the front page of Vanguard newspaper is tension in prisons over rising food inflation. And we also have local government autonomy will await Supreme Court's decision, says Senate. So if you're looking for such stories, you definitely find it on Vanguard. And still on um, local government issues, Rivers Youth Occupy Local Government Headquarters has chairman's tenure expire in a River State. A lot has been happening in River State regarding um, issues of the chairman's tenure and extension of their tenure right there in the state. All right, so these are the stories we have from Vanguard. And due to time, of course, uh, let's just dive into the front pages um, review. We have Dr. Theophilus Abba, the Program Director of Daily Trust Foundation, joining us this morning to dissect this. Good morning, Doctor. It's good to have good you. Morning good morning and still happy Salah. Eh? <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> good morning, Dr. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> in that mood. <laughs> Indeed, we're still in yes. the mood. Uh, tomorrow would be... People are, people are relaxed. The roads are freer. Yeah. Yes. And it is like fresh ain't in the town so <laughs> <laughs> can drive and so uh, are, are you suggesting <laughs> the people should stay where they are so that they'll just leave us here in a when, when i mean when the salary is over everybody has to everybody return has to, to, work. to return <laughs> back to work <laughs> <laughs> all right also let's talk about uh, the pressing issues um in our country this tuesday morning talking about the lead by example that nigerians are replying the president <laughs> you know how the first message from the president uh was delivered uh, yesterday what is your take on that well, I think he, he was saying the, that Nigerians should uh, make sacrifices. I think that was uh, part of um, the uh, the message. Mm. And uh, if you look at it, he was making allusion to um, the sacrifice that uh, Abraham made. You know, uh, Abraham sacrificed or attempted to sacrifice his son. And uh, everything about this uh, big salah is about sacrifice. People have to buy ram. You know, you know that when he attempted to sacrifice his, uh, his son Isaac, uh, that is the name, the, the name we use in the Bible, um, a ram appeared just from nowhere, and um, he sacrificed the ram instead. So I think symbolically, I mean, uh, uh, Muslims do that as well. Mm -hmm. Now, when the president was talking about Nigerians should make sacrifices, well, we have made too much <laughs> sacrifice already. You know, what we expect, I mean, like the lead story of the uh, Daily Trust is saying that even the president, the politicians also should be making sacrifices. Yeah. Because um, on a daily basis, you know, if you look at the trend in the inflation, every rise in inflation is sacrifice. If you used to buy something for 10 naira, you have to buy 15 naira. You buy it for 15 naira. You're actually already making sacrifices. And then the unfortunate thing is that the, the gallop, you know, the inflation is so high. That things that you bought for ten thousand becomes, you know, thirty thousand, forty thousand. Mm. Uh, like the the most popular one now is tomatoes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I went to the market on Saturday, and uh, we got to uh, where they sell tomatoes, and there is this smaller bag. We call it, my wife used to call it. Uh, bas I mean. Uh, with basket. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. dustbin basket. Dustbin basket. And we say how much? Say twenty thousand. Eh? And she was I said, Look, don't don't say anything. Don't, let's walk, <laughs> let's walk back. We are doing a, what do you call it? A window shopping. You yeah, know? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> because we had bought it for about six thousand, even then we lamented. Yeah. Now you are telling us to buy it for uh, for twenty thousand. Mm. If anybody bought it for twenty twenty thousand it was a and it was a lot of sacrifice already yeah so right from i mean let me say the beginning of the regime uh, this government nigeria have been making sacrifices 
progressively, you know, and there's no soccer. We have not seen any soccer yet. You know, it's been sacrificing, sacrificing, sacrificing. People are even sacrificing their meals. Because if you eat to eat twice a day or three times a day, you eat only once or two times. You're already making sacrifices. So prescri prescribing sacrifices was actually not the right thing to, to do. You know, you yeah. should be telling us about the sacrifices that government is making. Talking about the sacrifices that the government... Because they are by the... They are there's been a the presidential jet. There's yeah. been a controversial topic also, Dr. Mm. Gorin, round where uh, there is um, a, a talk about new presidential jets. Yes. And um, we've seen um, the Labour Party presidential candidate for 2023, Peter Obi, come out to, you know, have a heated argument back to back with um, the presidency. What is your take on this situation, considering the current economic hardship? Now, the, the issue of the new presidential jet, I think uh, it started when the vice president wanted to travel um, to the U.S. for a meeting. And we're told that he entered the aircraft and he didn't develop the kind of fault, so he couldn't fly. You know, so he had to, you know, uh, postpone, uh, is it postpone or botch that, uh, that trip? At that point, um, we heard that, you know, because of that incident, you know, the, the presidency was, I mean, coming, was coming up with the idea of a new presidential jet. And some of us thought it was a joke. You know, we can't be talking about, I mean, it's not only one jet that is in the fleet. You know, we have several. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know the exact number, but we have several in the fleet. And then, I don't know if because of that incident alone, you are saying, okay, you should go and buy a new presidential jet. I think it's the height of you know, of, of I mean, what do you call it, profligacy, you know? I think that this is insensitive. It is not the time that we should be talking about. Even if you are going to do a president, you should not even allow Nigeria to hear that you want to buy a presidential jet. Because there are so many presidents in this world that don't have presidential jet. Mm. Like, I understand the British Prime Minister flies British Airways. Mm. You understand? So, uh, there's nothing wrong with a president flying commercial, you know? I mean, of course, if you are in the business class of first class, it's already very comfortable. So if you have a presidential jet that is 40, why don't you repair it? Mm. You know, you, you can even take it to any of the, to even the manufacturers, say, refurbish this for us. We have used this over a period of eight years. It's no longer something that, I mean, we trust so much. Why don't you, I mean, put it in? Maintenance. Mainten it uh, maintenance. Work. And there's a huge budget for maintenance. It's not like over the years it was abandoned. No. They had budget, budget, uh, source budgeted for me. I, if I had gone into the, the into the uh, 2024 budget, maybe we will even discover that. Look, a huge sum of money had been budgeted for the maintenance it's of obviously. the presidential jet. Oh, so if you announce that you buy a new one, maintenance on even uh, airports in Kogi yes. that, that never existed. Okay. So. You know, when you said uh, fly commercial, I genuinely look forward to the day I'll see our president fly commercial. It will be mm -hmm. amazing, a great way to interact with yes, you know, the people. Yes, with the people. I really look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take you away from that. Now, let's look at the headline from this day where it says Rivers LG crisis shut down, looms armed groups vows to sack council chairman. Mm. Now we see that um, Sim Fubara is talking about either tenure extension or sacking of council chairman. Mm. But people, the youth and um, um, most people in River State are calling for complete sacking of council chairman. First of all, what's your take on what is looming in River State regarding council chairman either sacking or extension of their tenure? Okay, uh, you, you, you realize that among politicians, you know, there's what we call um, their network, political network, political base. Now, for every politician, his political base starts from the local government, maybe from the world, then from the local government. Then local government chairmen are actually serving the purpose of their political masters. Now, I think what's happening in River State is this. These local government chairmen were appointed by Wiki, mm. the former governor. And then they were serving... You know, they were like messengers. They were like the, the foot soldiers for Wiki. Now, if, but if you look at it from that perspective, you can now understand why there's a face off. Now, Fubara, you know, is under pressure to fix his own men in those positions. As long as local government chairman remain there, they will be serving Wiki. And it will be difficult to convert them to Fubara's uh, uh, foot soldiers. Mm. Now, if you remember, I don't know if you, if you follow the story in. Uh, some of the events that have been happening in River State. There was a time a local government chairman even insulted Fubara. You know, he said, look, who are you? You are just nothing. You know, he spoke to him in a very harsh manner. Which means that the, the guy had the confidence that he was 
you know, installed by a higher, someone who had a higher power yeah. in the party, you know, than, uh, than Fubara. He could look at Fubara in the face and say, get out. That means that he was loyal to some other person, not Fubara. So as long as the local government system, he saw that the governors installed those who are loyal to them, so that when there are elections, they will be able to falsify results, they will be able to do all sorts of terrible things, you know, to keep them in power. And so long, we'll be having crisis at local government level. And that's why I support this plan by government, to ensure that local government have true autonomy. That if you are elected, you are elected by the people, yeah. then you are, you know, loyal to the people. But at least, I mean, now, what happens is this. Local government chairmen are not elected. They are appointed by the government. Mm. They call them caretaker. Mm. And now the tenure is over. And so the youth who seem to be loyal to Fubara say, look, pack your load and go. You are no longer needed here. You understand? And see, that is what is happening in, uh, in Rivers at the moment. We all I, know the importance of being loyal to, you know, someone. But mm -hmm. shouldn't all of this, talking about the governor and even the local government chairman's loyalty, be with the people? people yeah. That is what it ought to be. You know, but the way things have been bastardized, you know, people, if, I, if, you, if you talk to politicians, they are talking about the next election. They are not even talking about us, you know. I saw one, uh, one uh, banner, is it banner of, uh, I mean, there's something recently talking about 2027 for Tinubu, and I was wondering, <laughs> you know, we've not even started this, we have not even seen it's what it's people are ready. So, you see, the, the politicians are thinking about the next election, so every network, every arrangement that will put them in the position to do what to favor them in the next election, they will do. And that is what is happening in, in River State. I, really I will advocate that, you see, we ensure local governments are truly autonomous. Mm -hmm. So that a local government chairman can look at the governor and say, well, you are the governor of your state, I'm the chairman of the mm -hmm. local government. This is, these are the things that the council has asked me to do, I will do them. Indeed. Just like when you, a state cannot go and dictate to another state. You know, the governor cannot dictate to another, uh, another so government. The, the Let's be that, that at the local government level. Yeah. And <laughs> that's, we have to amend we, the we, we hope that happens, Doctor. Thank you so much. I mean, because of time, we have to wrap up the show. Thank I you. appreciate you joining us, uh, Dr. Theophilus Abba, to give an insight on uh, the front pages. Thank you very much. Of Good course, until next Tuesday, we can't wait to have you again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. All right, our viewers, with that, of course, so we wrap up the show this morning. Do not forget, at the top of the hour, Adeni Adishafel will bring you 360 Sport. I am Sumaya Abubakari. Thank you so much for watching. And I am Lilian Ogazi. What's a pleasure being here with you today. Thank you so much for watching.